Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I made this cute, super sparkly nail art design that actually everyone can do. Also, I wanted to share some extra tips and tricks on how to work with loose glitter, especially how to use finely milled glitter like this one, but also how to use chunky glitter and actually do some really cute and fun designs with them. Because I know that there are a lot of guys and girls out there who have a ton of glitter. I am one of them, like hi, I'm Femke and I'm addicted to glitter. I have a ton of it. If you've been following me for like a really long time and you have seen my nail art collection, you know I'm pretty much obsessed. But a lot of you don't really know how to use it with regular nail polishes, so that is what I'm showing in this video today. Of course, you can switch up the glitter if you don't feel like silver, like holographic glitter. But yeah, let's continue to the video. And of course, if you are new, hi, welcome. I would love to see you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And welcome to the family if you are subscribing right now. But I'm going to start off with the beautiful like dusty rose nail polish dusty rose colors are just my favorites and you can combine so many different types of glitters with it of course you can totally switch up the base coat or base color if you want to and yes i have already applied a base coat underneath my colored polish as well but first up, I'm going to show you how to use this very finely milled loose glitter. This is actually a glitter by Catrice Cosmetics. And I think it was from a limited edition from a couple of years ago. So I'm not quite sure this will probably not be available anymore. But there are tons and tons of different glitters out there. You can get online or at even craft supply stores and stuff like that. Not every like glitter that you use for crafts will use for this particular technique that i'm going to show you in this video today but if you have any like cosmetic glitter they usually hold on to their color um but yeah i will get like more into detail in that uh, like a little later on in this video but first up make sure that your base color is completely dry i had done it i think an hour before i started recording and i am going to show you how i apply the glitter gradient effect with the finely milled glitter so first up i'm taking a little palette it's like one of those resin plates i really love them they are so handy and they look quite pretty as well so i just got a top coat just a really random top coat i didn't get like a super fast drying one because um like if you mix glitter in with a top coat like i'm doing here you can can see you need quite a lot of top coat to actually make it work or just um, use less glitter but sometimes you know like glitter gets everywhere especially if you just scoop out a little bit you usually scoop out way too much so just make sure it has a nice uh, consistency while mixing it up kind of like a glittery polish you want it to be packed with glitter but not that thick and clumpy that you can't apply it and i am going to use one of my gel brushes to actually apply that glitter mix to the tips of my nail so, as I mentioned, um, don't use a quick drying top coat. This was just a regular top coat by H&M that I'm using. It's a little bit of like a thicker formula, which I really love when using loose glitter like this. But here you can see I actually needed a little bit more of the top coat in my mixture. But I just really wanted to like leave this part in as well, because I just want to show you that we are all human and we all make mistakes. And it's usually just... A trial and error thing with uh, glitters like this but I haven't done it in like a really long time so this was like my first time doing a loose glitter mix in like maybe eight months or maybe even a year so it had been a little while but of course you can always just remove it if you don't like the look of it but trust me if you feel like it's a little bit too thick and a little bit too clumpy just add a layer of top coat on top of the entire nail and i will assure you it will level out really nicely but let's continue with the chunky glitter i am going to use that same top coat this one is one by h&m as i mentioned before and i'm going to place some chunky loose glitter on top of my nail as well just to give it a little extra more sparkle like it's it's not just a little it's like a lot more sparkle but you will see that in a little minute so just apply a decent layer of that top coat don't over flood the nail you just want to apply 
a decent layer like not too thick not too thin you want your glitter to have like some sticky base to actually really hang on to so you kind of want to press that chunky glitter onto the nail like a little bit into that top coat so yeah i'm just going to place those with my crystal picker up thingy this is like a crystal katana knockoff you can get them online like at aliexpress at born pretty store i think i got mine from like the born pretty store at aliexpress like a couple of years ago i love it so much i actually got a backup as well but i've been using this one for like two maybe two and a half years already and it still works like a dream but just place your like chunky glitter onto your nails just place it nice and random and yeah that's actually another like little way you can use chunky glitter but i'm just going to finish off the four nails first up here you can see that the consistency of my glitter mix with that finely milled glitter is way better than how i had it on the thumb of course as i mentioned if you don't feel confident enough to just go in with two or maybe four fingers at a time with your glitter mix just make small amounts of your top coat and glitter mix so you don't have to like waste a lot of product of course if you have a finely milled glitter like this a little bit goes a really long way and if you work quite fast as you can see here this footage is isn't like sped up or anything like that this is just real life you can be like finished with your manicure if you're just going for like a finely milled glitter gradient you can be done in like five to ten minutes just let it dry add a top coat and you're good to go like it's really really easy and yeah if you actually want some other tips and tricks or other techniques on how to use loose glitters on your nails of course i actually made a video like two years ago i think it already is that long ago with five different techniques on how to use loose glitter so you can definitely check that video out after you've finished watching this one if you're really into that it is an older video i used a really old like camera setup really crappy lighting as well <laughs> so yeah it's actually quite fun to re-watch videos like that as well just to see how far um, you've come like in the last couple of years or at least that's for me the case of course um, and I think it's just really a lot of fun to re-watch old videos and just to see how you were doing things back then so even if you're not on YouTube and don't make videos always make photos of your nail designs because that's always really fun and actually really cool to look back to see how you did specific things back then maybe you can redo an older design maybe a design you forgot you ever did but really loved so yeah oh and another little quick tip uh, make sure to clean off your brush if you're done with the like little fine milled glitter mix so yeah you don't waste your brush or mess that up either when you feel like your glitter gradient is done of course apply most of the loose glitters towards the tip of the nail to make it that a little bit more opaque a little bit more packed and apply it more sparsely going up the nail or maybe you want to switch it around and do the glitter gradient from the cuticle area down the nail that's pretty cool as well i love to do that too but if you have let that dry for like five minutes you don't even have to wait that long because glitter and usually top coats dry pretty quickly as well you just want to go in with another decent layer of that top coat and press in that bigger chunky glitter as i mentioned this design is so easy and it's so sparkly and actually at work i got a lot of like compliments and people actually mentioning my nails and that they were so like in your face and sparkly and just all over the place in a good way of course that yeah like you don't need any super nail art ninja skills to do this if you have some loose glitter laying around you have a nice like uh, nail polish to put as a base and you have a top coat like you're good to go you don't even need like a separate different top coat to cap in the design i am going to use a different one for that because i just wanted to try out some other top coats that i still had in my collection but never really used much but you can definitely go on and just use the same top coat to cap it all in um, just the same top coat that you use to press in these chunky glitters but again just play 
place the glitters wherever you want them to go. Of course, you can do like a full on chunky glitter nail as well. I have shown how to do that in that how to use loose glitter like five techniques video that I mentioned. Um, I will try to see if I can link it in like the end screen or something like that if you're curious about it. Once again, heads up, it's an old video so it might look and sound a little different than my videos do now. But yeah, that's growth people, growth. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure that once you have placed all of the glitters where you want them to be, like the chunky glitters, um, just let it dry for like five minutes again and then cap it all in with your favorite or preferred top coat. I'm just going to use this one by Catrice because you guys know me. I love my base and top coats by Catrice and Essence Cosmetics. And I still had this one just standing on my desk at my workspace and... For some reason, I rarely grab this one. I don't know why. Um, the substance C is a little bit more watery, a little bit more thin. So keep an eye out for that. This one is like a cuticle flutter, if you know what I mean. It just goes everywhere if you apply just a little bit too much of that top coat. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, you can always just take a brush and a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover to clean your uh, like the sides of the nails as well as the cuticle area if you have a little bit of flooding it wasn't too bad for me personally in this particular video but i do see a little bit of flooding like around the cuticle area especially with the ring finger i was like while watching this footage like oh damn girl you had a little bit of flooding going on there but you can just clean that off after your nail polish is fully dried or just go in straight away that's like an option as well but this was already the entire video. My two tips and tricks on how to use loose glitter as far as finely milled glitter to make like a cute glitter gradient to your tips or even from your cuticle area down the nail and also on how to use and place chunkier glitters. If you have any questions or like suggestions or any requests for me to make another video about loose glitter or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I really hope you like this video let me know if you want to recreate something like this and what colors and glitters you would use but thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you liked it stay safe and i hope to see you in one of my next videos